the fantastic you welcome back and if you're new to the channel welcome glad to have you make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends we are playing with the seven compartment split cup that i picked up from michael's i've got some more split cups that i ordered online i got a week or two before they're going to show up we're doing blues and a gold today so let's start filling this up our first color is mainly Liquid X Titanium White with a splash. And I mean a splash, like a small squirt of, let me double check, Artist Loft, Artist Loft Light Blue. So it's almost white, but not quite. Our next color is the Artist Loft Light Blue. I was really, really wanting to do a blue pour. <laughs> but I love blue and I love gold with blue. Our next color is Brilliant Blue from Liquid X. The rest are gonna be Liquid X colors. Looks like I'm pretty spot on for the amount of paint. I'd rather have a little bit too much paint than obviously not enough. Our next color is Liquid X Gold. So I'm separating the light and the dark with gold. I hope we get a good effect by doing this. But I just think gold and blue, I just think they look so wonderful together. Okay, our next color is Cerulean Blue Hue. So as I've mentioned in other videos, each compartment is not the same size in these split cups. That just seems to be the norm. So I started with about 50 grams and 60, 70, 80, 70, 60, 50 is how I kind of figured it out. Our next color is cobalt, cobalt blue hue. So lots of lovely shades of blue here. Okay, then our last color is two parts cobalt blue to two parts ivory black. And we have almost a, a Prussian blue or a navy blue. Very happy with how this blue turned out. And then for the most part, these paints have been mixed one part paint up to one and a half parts pouring medium and the pouring medium is 60 percent glue elmer's glue wall to 40 percent water let's move this out of the way we are going to be working on a 14 by 14 canvas and i've kind of put my little pegs on a little weird and that's just to help it sit better on my cake turner Got that in there all the way. So the canvas is 
not actually touching the cake turner. The inside thumbtacks, push pins, are sitting on the cake turner, if that makes sense. Okay. So I've got a little bit of each color left. I'm probably, once I'm done pouring, I'll probably do the corners. We'll wait and see. I should have enough paint for this one. We're gonna do clockwise, a clockwise ring pour, and then I'm gonna slowly turn our guy. That gold is very strong. I hope I don't regret having it in here or in the center with the most amount of paint is the actual gold one. I am moving a little bit here, so kind of a wandering ring pour, but my ring is not super straight. <laughs> ah. This is almost looking peacocky. have such troubles doing a round circle. Getting close to the bottom. arms getting tired. My husband might make me build me like an armrest. I think that will be pretty cool. Get this last little bit of paint out of there. Keep trying to get it out in circles, but it's coming out all ziggy zaggy. So it looks like a lot of the gold is hidden. We'll see if it comes back out once we spin. Feel like I'm gonna need all the paint I can get on this one. Kind of getting better circles now. This technique is very tricky. Okay, stop it there. Try and center this a bit more. It's getting it back on here. Oh, 
Okay, let's do up some of the edges. I'm going to need to do it. darker blue here. Most of that's going to spin off. Let's do our lighter blue on this corner. Try not to spill any paint in our ring pour. Okay. Sorry, I got the sniffles, so my apologies. This one left. There I go sniffling again. My bad. Torch. So I got a few bubbles in there, even though I made my paint yesterday. Oh, knocking stuff over. Ugh, can't take me anywhere. give it a bit more oomph than that. Some of the painting on the edge is just making sure this is sitting properly. It just doesn't feel like it is. Okay, we're good. There we go. Got some interesting something in the middle. Not quite sure what's going on there. Got two corners covered. <laughs> that was a weak spin. get some more paint on that edge just because it needs it. Getting the sides here. Oh, 
hopefully that will help that edge get over. Didn't move that much, but I didn't really spin it that hard. I need to hold on to the corner. There, that was a good one. Moved quite a bit on that one. Okay, let's do it again. Just moving this paint a little bit. That one wasn't the best one. It's a delicate balance between a good spin and a bad spin, because if you spin too hard, you're gonna get paint everywhere. Little better. Almost all the way over. Give it a couple more spins. Hopefully it gets over. Uh, just looking at the bubbles. Need to give it another torch. Oh, almost over on that corner. Very nice. Definitely have an interesting look going on here. I'm not sure if I like this one or not. <laughs> I like this part. Not as keen on that part. That makes sense. Got some cells in the center. That's uh, interesting. Well, let's give it a quick torch and then I think I'm good for spinning it. It's just gone over on that corner. There, straighten that out for you. I'll zoom you in. So what do you think? I'm not sure what to think of it. It's either going to grow on me or I just won't like it. I'm not sure. I love the effect right here in this corner. It's pretty neat in that corner. I just don't know if I like that or not. Not sure. But either way, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.